Hey Sagittarius, it's Robin here. Thanks guys for joining me for your March 2022 month ahead tarot card reading. Uh, so I will be forecasting the energy of March 2022 using the good tarot. And I am a channel, I'm always surrounded by guides and they will pipe up and give information. So I really hope you guys enjoy the reading. Make sure you say hi to me in the comments and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here. I really hope you enjoy the reading, okay, guys? For Sagittarius in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for you. And let's just crack on right into your reading. I'm just being guided to show you guys the bottom of the deck, which I have not seen yet. Okay, so let's have this card here. So you've got the love card, okay? So love is strength and love is energy and love is everything, okay? So what has that got to do for you in March, okay? So there could be a blossoming of a new love. I think that one of my guides is trying to talk to me. There's some sort of a disassociation for you between um, the energy of love and the energy of money. Okay, because everything is energy okay so i'm getting the sense that some of you could actually have kind of a hate hate relationship with money not really truly understanding its properties and where it comes from and how it flows at a higher rate of speed when your energy is in balance here so i really want you to do a check-in with how you're feeling about yourself sagittarius you know are you having like a winter blues? Are you in some sort of a funk? Like, where's your energy level sitting at, okay? And is there somebody that has a very strong influence on how you feel? You know, you'll notice right away how somebody makes you feel just because like you could feel sick or you might wanna laugh. There's all these different gauges I need to pull another card, okay? I really see that there's somebody around you that is kind of making your skin crawl a little bit, uh, not being the nicest to you, okay? So this person could already be around you or they could be coming in in March, okay? So be very, very careful um, to limit your exposure to this person because they could have a really huge detrimental effect on anything that you're trying to do with, let's say a job search or, you know, um, trying to manifest. If this person isn't making you feel like this, what are they doing in your life, okay? Sometimes you're in a situation where it's your boss or your coworker, but you can do things to get out of those situations. If you need to be looking for a new job, then this is the time to do it, okay? Because you're being given the gateway to give this person the boot, okay? Because they don't belong in your life right now. They're really bringing you down. They're really reminding you of somebody in the past as well, okay? Why does this keep happening to me? You know, why do I keep on meeting this type of person? Okay, because you haven't resolved it in yourself to no longer tolerate that type of behavior from somebody else. We do have the five of water. This is a very powerful card. It's being like dragged all the way back to some sort of childhood memory. And this person that is coming in in March, not a good childhood memory, by the way like feeling unloved and unwanted and panicked and stressed out. And there is something about somebody that is coming in. So either they're going to remind you very strongly of this person from your childhood, or it could be them again for some reason. There's some sort of trait. There's someone toxic coming in, okay? Either it is that person from your childhood, but I think it's only going to be for a few of you. I really see that it's somebody new. I really see that it's their agenda to 
not make you feel very good about themselves. Like, I don't know why their, their mission is toxicity and you are the target. This is like not cool at all. Not, uh, huh? Okay. 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 Yeah. So I pulled the jackpot card. You guys could be coming into a little pop of money. Oh, I see it. Just a real swindler coming in here for you. You have to be very careful because this person's mission is to... They want to make you feel bad. And then milk you for a sum of money. And that's how they operate. They're just going to like be so either ignorant towards you make you feel bad make you want to cry they could like really have this story where they make you pity them oh and here have some of my money but they see you coming into this money or getting a gift or something like that they're targeting you Sagittarius you got to be very careful okay so if people are not coming at you with this energy if they're making you feel horrible about yourself or that you want to cry after everything that you've said, this is how you're going to identify this person. That they just want to come in and take your cash. They want to like live at your place for free or have you subsidize them. This is not a good person coming in. This is not a good person coming in. And your emotions and your stomach and your skin everything is going to tell you cut this person off right now because all they want is a paycheck not cool okay so avoid that let your senses guide you as well okay so you can see the difference here people make you feel like this or people make you feel like this get rid of this person asap okay so wow i'm gonna go Sag. take care <laughs> bye